After watching this video, you should have a fundamental understanding of how you can draw the Lewis structure of a molecule and use that information to determine the electron pair and molecular geometries. To illustrate this thinking, I've chosen to show you how to determine the molecular geometry of nitrocele fluoride. So nitrocele fluoride, which has a molecular formula of NOF, one atom of each per molecule, is an interesting molecule because it's an oxidant used in rocket fuels. And so I want to use it to illustrate how we can determine the molecular geometry of a molecule like this by drawing its Lewis structure. So I'm going to start off by drawing the Lewis structure and follow the procedure I showed you. First we need to determine what is the central atom. And so we're going to pick the atom with the lowest first ionization energy. In this case, that would be nitrogen. So I'll put nitrogen in the center and oxygen and fluorine around it. Right now, we're not going to worry about the orientation of these or the geometry when we draw the two-dimensional Lewis structure. We'll worry about that after we get the Lewis structure correct. Now I'm going to count up the total number of valence electrons. So we have five from nitrogen, six from oxygen, seven from fluorine. So that's a total of 18 or nine pairs. So I'm now going to distribute those pairs first by connecting the center atom with the outside atoms. Now satisfying the octet, working outside in, start with fluorine. So that's one, two, three pairs, four, five, six pairs, seven, eight that I've used for the bonds. I have one pair left. So I'll put that pair on the central nitrogen. The octets are satisfied for the outside atoms, but not for the essential atoms. So I'm going to now slide in one of the pairs to form a double bond. So the question is, what, which one do I choose? Should I choose fluorine or oxygen? And to make this decision, I'm going to go with the one that follows the common bonding modality of two bonds and two lone pairs, and it happens to be oxygen. So based on common bonding modality, I'm going to move in that lone pair. And I'll redraw this now with a double bond here. And there is my Lewis structure for NOF. Now let's determine the electron pair and molecular geometries. And the first thing, we, of course, we need to do here is determine the regions of density around the central atom. So I have one region right there, that bond. One region right here, that double bond. Remember that a bond, be it a single, double, or triple, is counted as one region. It just means that if you have a double versus a single, this is a higher region of density than this. And of course, a triple would be higher than a double or single. Then we also have a region here. So we have a total of three regions, one, two, three. We know that the electron pair geometry associated with three regions of density is trigonal planar. And we know that for the trigonal planar geometry, the bond angle is around 120. But in this case, because we have one of the regions of density is a lone pair electron pair, we know that the molecular and electron pair geometry will not be the same. In this case, the molecular geometry will be different because the molecular geometry only focuses on the location of the atoms in space. So we're only going to worry about where the N and the F and the O are with respect to each other. So Considering that, we know that the molecular geometry in this case is bent, and that this angle here between the F, N, and O is going to be less than 120 because the lone pair has a stronger repulsive force than the bonding pairs, pinching that angle down. Now, to illustrate this a little bit more, I'm going to redraw this structure. Okay, here's my structure. I have my three regions of density. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. And now I know that this angle here is the one I'm talking about that's less than 120. Actually, in nitrocele fluoride, it's around 110 degrees. Um, now, 
what I want to do is illustrate to you switching to a ball and stick model what I mean by having all of these atoms in the same plane when I have a bent geometry. So let me switch over here. Here's a ball and stick representation of nitrocele fluoride where my fluorine is here, my nitrogen is here, and my oxygen is here. And what I want to point out to you is that in this bent molecular geometry, all of these atoms are in the same plane. So to illustrate that, I'm going to rotate this molecule sideways, pulling the fluorine closer to you. And you can see, looking at it sideways, all the atoms are in the same plane. There's nothing coming out or back from this plane of the three atoms. And in fact, when you have three atoms, there's no way for them to not all be in the same plane. It's when you have more than three atoms, when you have atoms that can come in and out of a plane, or geometries like trigonal, pyramid, or tetrahedral. Nitrocele fluoride.